Hello there everyone, Joseph here, we're back with some more Rise of Lights. Yes, we're back with Thomas Chapman of the 2nd Squadron RAF, uh, RAF, <laughs> nope, Royal Flying Corps, RAFC, flying out of uh, Savoy Berlet in the RE-8s. Yes, so last time we had a bit of a rough landing on the enemy side of the line because we got shot out by some albatrosses, uh, doing a bombing of the same area that we were bombing the last time luckily we survived uh we did we were injured for a little bit so here we are anyways back at the uh, campaign screen so let's go ahead and get the new mission new day new mission hey horace uh harris norwich here in merlin uh pro killer the same image <laughs> all right anyways let's see here Percor uh, perform reconnaissance near uh vinden photograph any troop concentration or other items of interest very cool when speed is 11 well we don't have to worry about that now that we're uh taking pictures but what should we be flying at it looks like 328 so 3,000 feet whatever i don't know what that is in or not feet but meters i don't know what that is in feet so we'll be taking off, heading east, northeast, down, I guess, here, and then back the way we came. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, pilot selections real quick. I want to see. All right, so there's three of us going up. All right. Well, I guess not. Why did I look in the pilot selection? I can look over here. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, let's just go ahead and accept that mission. I'll join you all in the cam or campaign screen. Wow, I'm tripping all balls all night tonight, aren't I? I'll join you all in the game, so stay tuned. And here we are on the game screen. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I actually almost said, here, uh, here we are back at the generator screen, but we're not the generator screen. We're in game. All right, so here we are in game. That's what I should have said the first time. Uh, as you can see, there's our flight plan yet again. So we'll be running along pretty much the their edge of the, the front, uh, pretty much... Right on the edge of no man land, uh, essentially. Essentially? Oh, that didn't sound right. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip our bird. So we shall be taking uh, the Photo Plus 7.62 millimeter machine gun. It's that little single machine gun right here. All center. Makes it kind of hard to shoot. Uh, for a recon mission, I guess we could also take up the Twin Lewis turrets. So that we're a little bit more defended. And let me get rid of the uh, Aldis because that's no use to me. All right, pilot stuff. Let's go with a, I don't know, I'm feeling cheery today. So let's go white. Why not? I guess, no, actually yellow would be a little bit more cheery color. Uh, yellow and a blue and black or a blue and white checkered streamer. And we'll stick with the Webley like always since we are British. And let's go ahead and start the mission. All right, here we are in game. Let's unpause this puppy and zoom the view back out a little bit and wait for the 30 minute mark so that we can take off and take our pictures. So we should be able to. Uh, maybe not. Well, nah, we can't. Uh, sometimes you can see the. Uh, hello, Henry. You can see the. Uh, what should we call it? Camera out the side of the aircraft, just like you can the. Uh, radio. You can see the little antennas off the side when you have a radio. Though we can't do that, unfortunately, because the artillery missions are bugged. Now the winds were, what they say, 14 miles per hour, so we do have a pretty strong gust going on. As you can see, we are getting uh, uh, prop wash, plus the wind is shoving us over here to the east, I guess it looks like. Oh, let's not tilt the plane over, shall we? So we'll just we'll go this way and then we'll uh when we get up in the air we'll we'll join back up with everybody else. <laughs> uh so yes. Uh I'm sure you guys have seen if you're following the channel, of course, and watching all the videos besides just one or two, you know, Rise of Flight or Falcon, which I do recommend everybody, you know, check out all the other videos. Don't just subscribe for one thing because you never know when that one thing might disappear. And now everybody's going, oh wait, you're going to get rid of Falcon or, or, or uh, Rise of Flight? No, of course not. I enjoy flying these games. It's the only place I can actually fly. <laughs> Decently, at least. Uh, so, no, those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. 
but you never know in the future things might change uh, but anyways you guys might have seen the little uh, test stream of heroes and generals I did that through the YouTube uh, live stream service uh, I've never actually tried out the YouTube live stream service so that was a first for me I actually prefer twitch I've done a few streams on twitch they went fairly well uh, but I ran into a problem this last time and that problem was I was uh, a bit laggy as far as the streaming goes and it could have been just because it's heroes in general so it's a bit of a you know it's an action arcade ish game um, so it could have been just the fact that there's a lot of stuff going on I've done Rise of Flight streams and they haven't been bad uh, World War 2 Online surprisingly wasn't bad either and that game can get kind of action-packed as well uh, what else have I done? I think I also did... Well, I played around with Falcon before, and that game doesn't get action-packed until you're, you know, at the front sometimes, uh, or you're above your objective. So, it could be, you know, it's just flight sims in general. Uh, it's kind of been what I've done. I can't remember what else I've done, but anyways, uh, it was a bit laggy and choppy um, during the stream. And I kind of was trying to figure out what was causing it, and I finally figured out what was causing it. Excuse me. It was my CPO. Yes, uh, I totally forgot, and, it, and that's why it kind of surprises me that uh, I was able to stream such games as you know, stream before Rise of Flight World War Two Online and Falcon uh, before, and not have much of an issue. Uh, my CPU clock was not. Uh, I haven't overclocked my CPU, and the reason for that being is I didn't want to do that until I got a water cooler uh, installed. So I, I figure it's pretty much uh, that's probably what was causing my lag issues. Um, and I'm hoping because I did overclock my CPU a little bit, but I put it back to default settings before recording. I was playing around the other day with overclocking and I uh, ran my CPU through a, the Intel burn test and it did not pass at all. <laughs> um, then again, I did do maximum, which is the harshest, and it, it caused it caused my CPU to crash. Essentially, it overheated and crashed. Uh, so yeah, I'm waiting for a. I just ordered actually today a liquid cooling Corsair H80i because I can't. Uh, well, I could get. I could have gotten it, but I can't. I don't have the space for it. Uh, the H100 series, which is the, the larger radiator. Uh, sadly, I couldn't afford, or not afford, but I couldn't, I can't fit that into my machine, so I had to go with the uh, 80i, which looks to be about on par with the, the 100, uh, being a small one fan, well, it's dual, you can put a fan on both sides, but a one fan size radiator, so hopefully when that gets in, I can overclock my machine again, or I can overclock my machine safely, and I shall be doing a little bit more live streaming. Now, whether or not it'll be on YouTube or Twitch is uh, in the near, you know, that's to be seen in the near future. I prefer Twitch just because I have a little bit more control over Twitch than I do YouTube. But, you know, I could possibly do YouTube over Twitch just because, you know, then you guys don't have to follow two different things of mine. So, yeah, I'm hoping to do that. And other than that, uh, yeah, so... I guess I might as well just keep talking because we are approaching our target here. Though we haven't reached, reached, reached our uh, destination height, though flight lead there might have. Just keep talking about some things. Uh, so I also uh, have gone back and subscribed to World War II Online again. So uh, like I said, when I overclock my CPU and I can stream again, I might do some live streams of uh, World War II Online. And if you guys haven't seen, I don't know if you all have follow him or not, and I'm going to drop a name here, which I kind of don't like to do, especially when, you know, they don't know that I'm doing it. But if you follow Blue Drake 42 over at, you know, bluedrake42.com, this is his website or his YouTube is, you know, Blue Drake 42 He's been, uh, past couple days, he's actually been live streaming World War II Online over both Twitch and YouTube, though YouTube is his main live stream thing, so... You go over there and check out his uh, his channel when he's live streaming. And it's really it's really good for the uh, for the game itself because it's bringing in a lot of new players into the game and in injecting those players that has been needed for uh, the game itself for quite some time. 
And I guess while I'm talking about World War II Online, there's some other news. Uh, I don't know how many of you all follow World War II Online or have been around as long as I have in the game. I've been playing, you know, 14 years now, I think. It's 2001. Is it 14 years from now? Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 years. Wow. Damn. 14 years ago, I was playing World War II Online. Uh, anyways, uh, the lead developer or executive developer, whatever you want to call him, uh, left the game so him and one other guy who's been in the game for a while have uh, finally left so all of the old old members of the develop development team have now gone and vanished or have retired from their uh, development of World War 2 Online and we have a totally brand new uh, dev team running the show and hopefully with that, that will equal some good things for the game eventually. Hopefully we can get the game back up to its heydays and possibly with the new dev team we might see some new improvements to it. Um, I know a lot of chat's been going on along the way on the forums about whether or not we might see the game switch an engine, uh, get you know an injection of really new up-to-date graphics or whatnot. Of course, you know, things are out in the wind for that. Uh, but you, we might we might actually see uh, uh, World War II Online version 2 uh, coming, you know, possibly coming soon. I know currently right now, and I guess I'll, I'll do a video on it. And no, I'm not paid by Corner Rat Software to do this, but uh, it's just one of those things I'm passionate about. It's one of those games that I've been playing for so long now. And have dedicated so many hours to it that I don't want to see it. Uh, really, don't want to see it disappear. I'd like to see it succeed. I'd like to see it come back to its heyday, uh, and to improve and add on because it is. It's a game. It's a niche game, but it's a game that needs to be out there. It. It's the only type of game of its kind. I guess the closest you could say to it would be Planet Side, or Planet Side Two. But on the scale of World War II Online, there is no other game. I mean, Planet Side doesn't even get to the scale of World War II Online. Uh, plus, it's World War II. I mean, come on now. What other game lets you actually play the French at the beginning of the war um, before they got ran over by the Germans? Well, before they got maneuvered around by the Germans, I guess you should say. Because uh, as things go... The Germans essentially bypassed all of the French defenses and went right for the, you know, right for the jugular instead of doing a straight-on war. Which, if you guys look up, you know, well, if you know about early French stuff, you'll actually find out that a lot of the French equipment was uh, superior in most ways to the Germans. Uh, the main factors, well, the main factor of the Germans being successful was. Uh, the surprise attack through Belgium, which the French never thought. They concentrated all their forces on the Siegfried Line or the Ardennes, you know, that area where Germany connects France. Uh, they never thought that they would go through Belgium. Uh, poor communications on the French side and French leadership, as well as the fact that the Germans had radios in their tanks and the Brits and French did not. Uh, the French actually had, uh, uh, what should we call it? You know, you, you tap uh, RSP? Uh, no, not RSP, but uh, Telegram. Is that what it is? I can't remember now. Uh, where you, you know, you tap a button and you do Morse code. And that's how their tanks communicated. Plus the fact that some of their tanks, the design of the tanks were uh, a bit of a problem. There's some targets out there, or at least some... Oh, no, that's Flak. That's not, though. That's an aircraft, but Flak's going up to him. I think that's probably a friendly aircraft. Uh... But yeah, they used, uh, the way their tanks communicated with each other was through, uh, Morse code. So, take that and the, the fact that most of the French tanks, uh, the design was to have the commander be the gunner and the loader. So, you know, a single, single man turret. And you throw that at them and, you know, that's going to be difficult for anyone to do to, you know, decipher Morse code, load a gun and shoot it and find targets all at the same time so that's something a little bit more you know more difficult for the French tankers to do but when you look at uh, 
look at the French tanks and their design and what they're equipped with. They were actually superior in all ways to the German, their German counterparts of that time period. For instance, the uh, Renault Char uh, Bastion or Biz was uh, essentially the Tiger tank of the early war. The French, the Tiger tank of the French. Uh, what are they going after? It looks like they're chasing something. The Tiger tank of the French uh, faction in the early part of the period. It was uh, hard to penetrate, and we've got our cue to start taking pictures. Smile. I said to Alright, cool. Wait, I said auto level. Am I hitting the wrong button? No. No, no, I don't want you regular autopilot. I want you auto level pilot. Eh, there we go. Alright, so let's get a little bit of a picture. Let's look at our shots before we just start snapping pictures. Whoops. Alright, so let's go ahead. Picture one. Picture? <laughs> He not go see the picture. Why you not take a picture? I guess we flew outside of the uh, the box or whatever. We are a little bit. They're a little bit further in, so maybe we need to go a little bit further in. So yeah, the uh, French uh, the French Char was actually you know was well was well armored. It had a the high velocity seventy or not a high velocity, but a seventy four millimeter seventy no no not seventy four. Uh, 47 millimeter cannon, which was larger than most of the German guns, which was either a 20 millimeter um, auto cannon or a uh, 35 millimeter cannon. Uh, they had the, but they had a 47 millimeter anti tank cannon. It was designed specifically for anti tanking, <laughs> and they slapped that puppy on a, uh, a turret and slapped. It. Actually, I might be wrong there. It might not be the 47. What did they put on there? What was it? Maybe it was a 32 millimeter cannon. I can't remember. I know they had a high velocity uh, 25 millimeter uh, anti tank cannon. Those are enemies. Uh huh. Those are albatrosses. I don't like where we are. Why can't I take any more pictures? I want to take pictures. Snap, snap, snap. Can I just make the noise? Snap, snap, snap. No, that doesn't work. All right. I think it was only back here. So, you know, why those guys are playing with those albatrosses, I'm going to go back this way and see if I can snap some photos of the area. Since this seems to be the one part that uh, let me do it. So, we're going to fly back this way. Say, forget you all, we're going back this way. Uh, let me go ahead also to, whoops, tell this guy to shoot at anything he sees at a long range. So, go ahead and start shooting, Henry. Uh, don't don't let me uh, don't let me bug you. Boop. Turn a little bit. Boop. Up. Oh, I saw it pop up. For a second there. No, you don't want to do it. I want I want to take some pictures. Come on now. <gasps> Come on now, game. Am I too high? Am I too low? Maybe I'm too high. Let's go down a little bit. Burp. Cause we were we were still climbing when we uh, got the icon for picture taking, and then we went off on a bit of a tangent. So this is pretty much in this area here. Uh, we just uh, ex you know erratically fly around and see what happens. <laughs> uh, I forget what the height. I know it's like. Uh, 3,000 as far as the height goes through the mission uh, but I forget what height you have to be actually in the uh, in the in the the, the, the the aircraft what height you have to be to actually have the camera activate I know the at a certain height you have to go or you have to fly in a certain area I forget I've done it online I've done oh oh hello are you friendlies uh, no no I don't think you are I've done picture taking online on the online campaigns before. No, you're friendly. You're friendly. You're friendly. Oh, maybe, uh, oh, did they shoot down one? Maybe that's what that was. Where'd that guy go? Uh, where'd that albatross go? There he is. Let's see if we can help our friend here. 
I need to find some uh I need to find some action music for the uh for whenever we play. Whenever <laughs> I get into a dog fight. Get some of that uh you know cheesy nineteen sixties air combat music or whatever. Whatever they used. I'm sure I could find some. I know I know I could find it. I found some a good fanfare. Uh good fanfare music that goes with the, uh, like an opening training film slideshow bit. Ah, that didn't work. Well, of course that didn't work, but no. <laughs> I didn't connect is what I meant to say. Those didn't connect. Oh, hello. Oh, is there three of them up here? Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. That's a new word. That's a new thing. Copyright Joe 2015. Oh, my boy. I like that. All right, now we've kind of stalled. Come on, get him, Henry! Forward, Henry, forward! Oh! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Oh, and I just went through all the spiel and everything. Shoot. Oh, no! Henry! Thomas! Why? They're dead. No. We only wanted to come out here and take some pictures. And they're dead. They're dead. I didn't record it. Dad. Well, I meant I didn't record it in game. So, yeah. Aww. Bummers. Well, let's go ahead and end that flight there. Well, it's going to end it for us, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, bummers. So there we are. We're down. We're dead. I guess it wasn't gonna last forever. And here I was going on a spiel about uh, needing awesome action music. Now we just need awesome sad music. Wait, what? That's not right. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you all back at the generator screen. Stay tuned. And here we are back at the generator screen. Oh, I don't really want to click this button. I don't want to see another pilot down. No. Oh. All right. Let's go ahead and click that combat report. Zero claim. Submit. Looks like my whole entire flight got shot down. I guess, you know, it's, it was bound to happen. Recon. Recon group there. All right. So we flew around. I got damaged by unknown. And then I died. Winston died as well. Uh, you know what? It could have been uh, the way it happened. Um, I think what might have happened was we ran into a albatross. That's what it kind of seemed like to me. But uh, I don't know. It, we could have just over G'd ourselves uh, and caused the wings to rip off. I guess overstressed the airframe. So let's go ahead and finish that debrief. Uh, so Captain Winston Barber shot down by a triple A. Oh, no, he shot up a triple A. Interesting. Uh, and Patrick Stewart, Captain Patrick Stewart. No, not Sir Patrick Stewart. Why, cruel world? No. Who's going to command the, the, the Starship Enterprise? Oh, and Thomas Chapman has died as well. Ah, oh, dang it. There's, there's our Captain Picard Stewart. <laughs> I know, Patrick Stewart. Oh, man, and there's me. I'm dead, and we both received a... Oh, he received a wounded badge. Wait, is he... Oh, no, he was killed. And they got Major Dentley, uh, Doorward. I think that's how you say it. Yes, anyways, finish that reading. Uh, another pilot down. No! Oh, oh, well. Anyways, go ahead and end that campaign. And we have another RIP on, uh... Thomas Chapman. And yes, I know, Archie is still alive. Uh, I even... <laughs> funny story here. Now, uh, you guys might have seen the uh, last video with Archie Higginson in. We crashed, but it didn't... It, there was a, a problem with the uh, generator itself. For some reason, there was a scripting error or whatnot, and it kept Archie alive. Well, to try and solve that so that we have an RIP so that he will actually join the rest of the guys here... I attempted to crash the aircraft several times after takeoff, 
uh, on different missions, and each time I got a scripting error. Archie Higginson cannot die. He is immortal. So he's staying up there, and we're not touching him at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, leave a comment down in the descriptions. Let me know what kind of campaign you want me to do. I can do... Uh, I don't know. We can do another German, uh, another German aviator. Maybe, maybe try and actually get to uh, you know another another German ace aviator. Uh, we can do some late war United States uh, air servicemen. Maybe another uh, another British chap, um, and maybe a fighter since I seem to be a lot better at fighters. Uh, maybe a French aviator, or we can do a Belgium aviator. Though I don't know where to get those guys but anyways yes let me know uh in the comments which what one you would like to see and then i'll go through my little uh, name generators and get a name and we'll uh jump on the next ship so anyways uh hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you all next time